Have you ever had that nagging feeling that something's not quite right with your phone? Maybe it's acting strangely, or perhaps you're worried that someone might be secretly monitoring your activity? With over 33 million smartphone attacks detected globally in 2024, these concerns are more valid than ever. The good news? There are clear indicators you can check right now to find out if your phone has been compromised. Hi everyone, Ron from Certo here. At Certo, we've been protecting people from phone hackers for over 10 years. And in that time, we've learned a thing or two about the specific warning signs that indicate a compromised device. And today, I'm going to share these with you. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to look for, how to detect hidden threats, and most importantly, how to protect yourself from phone hacking. Now, before we get into the checks, let's talk about why phone hacking is such a serious issue. Your phone is essentially your digital life in one device. If a hacker or someone you know gains access to your device, they could read your private messages, track your location, access your photos and videos, monitor your calls, steal your passwords, access your bank accounts, and so much more. The methods hackers use range from sophisticated spyware that's hard to detect to simple tricks that exploit features you use every day. But don't worry, by following the checks we're about to cover, you'll be able to spot the warning signs for virtually any attack. Now, I recommend working through each of these checks systematically to get a complete picture of your phone's security. Okay, first up, let's look at which apps are using the most data. Spyware needs to send your information like messages, photos, or location data to whoever's monitoring you. And this uses data. A sudden spike in data usage from an app you don't recognize could be a major red flag. So here's how to check how much data each of your apps is using. Now the steps vary depending on your phone manufacturer, so here's how to do it on different devices. Now just pause the video here if you need to. When reviewing your data usage, pay attention to any apps that are using significantly more data than expected, especially ones you don't recognize or rarely use. If you spot something suspicious, I'd recommend removing it right away. Next, let's check if your device has been jailbroken or rooted. This is when someone removes the built-in security restrictions set by the phone manufacturer. Now, while some tech enthusiasts do this intentionally, it's also a common tactic used by hackers. Jailbreaking or rooting makes it much easier to install spyware that can hide from normal security checks. So here's how to check your device. On iPhone, look for apps called Cydia or Cilio. These apps are typically installed during the jailbreak process and only exist on jailbroken phones. Now for Android, look for apps like Superuser or Magisk. These are strong indicators that your phone has been rooted. And if you find any of these apps and you didn't install them yourself, your phone has likely been compromised. Now, developer mode unlocks advanced features on your phone that are meant for app developers, but hackers can also exploit these features to install malware or gain deeper access to your device. So to check if it's enabled on iPhone, go to Settings, then Privacy and Security. Scroll to the bottom and look for the Developer Mode option. If you can't see this option, then Developer Mode is disabled and you're all good. And for Android, open your Settings app and search for the word Developer. If Developer options appear in the search results, then it's been enabled on your device. If Developer Mode is on and you did not enable it yourself, well, that's a big red flag, and I'd suggest you disable it right away. Spyware is the most intrusive method of phone hacking, and it's been in the headlines a lot recently. And it's getting smarter, too, with many spyware apps now being specifically designed to hide from manual inspection. They might not show up in your app list, or they could disguise themselves as system apps. So, the most reliable way to detect hidden spyware is to use a dedicated security app like Certo Anti-Spy. It's purpose-built to find the kind of sophisticated spyware that other security tools miss. 
Certo uses advanced detection methods to perform a deep scan of your device, checking for hidden spy apps, jailbreaks and routing, keyloggers, monitoring software, and suspicious system modifications. And if Certo detects any threats, well, removing them is simple. The app walks you through everything you need to do, giving you instant peace of mind that your device is secure again. I've included a link down in the description below if you want to check out Certo Anti-Spy. Now for iPhone users, checking for unknown configuration profiles is crucial. These profiles can allow malicious apps to be installed or give someone remote control over various aspects of your device. So to check, go to Settings, General, then VPN and Device Management. If you see any profiles listed here that you don't recognize or didn't install yourself, they could be malicious. Legitimate profiles are usually from your employer or school. Anything else should raise suspicion. Now to remove a suspicious profile, tap on it and then tap remove profile. Android users should check for any apps that have device administrator permissions. Spyware often requests these elevated permissions to avoid being uninstalled and to access sensitive information. So to check, open your settings app and search for device admin. Then tap device admin apps in the search results. Here you'll see a list of apps with administrator access. If you spot any suspicious apps with these permissions, it's a major warning sign. And to revoke permissions, Tap the toggle next to the app and then select Deactivate. You can then safely uninstall the app if required. So the next check is especially important because it's a method that doesn't even require installing anything on your phone. Yet, someone could still be reading all your messages. Many messaging apps like WhatsApp, Signal, and Telegram allow you to link your account to other devices. If someone had access to your unlocked phone for just 30 seconds, they could link your messages to their computer and read everything you send and receive. All right, now here's how to check the most popular apps. In WhatsApp, go to Settings, then Linked Devices. For Signal, tap your profile picture, then go to Settings, Linked Devices. And finally, for Telegram, go to Settings, then Devices. If you see any devices you do not recognize, Tap on them and select Log Out or Remove. And if you want to learn more about the Link Devices attack, I've just posted a video covering it in much more detail. I'll pop a link down in the description. Your iCloud or Google account likely backs up a huge amount of data from your phone, including messages, photos, contacts, location history, and more. If a hacker or someone you know has access to these accounts, they could essentially see everything from your phone without ever, ever touching it. To check to see who has access to your iCloud account, open the Settings app on your iPhone. Tap your name at the top, then scroll down to see all devices signed in. If you see any device you don't recognize, tap on them and select Remove from Account. Now for Android, open your Settings apps and go to Google. Tap your name, then Manage your Google account, then your devices. Review the list carefully and remove any devices you don't recognize. If you do find any suspicious devices, make sure to change your account password, enable two-factor authentication, and review recent account activity. Now that you know how to check if your phone's been hacked, let's talk about how to keep it secure going forward, because prevention is always better than a cure. So here are five essential steps to protect yourself. Okay, so first and foremost, always protect your phone with a strong passcode that only you know. Use at least six digits. Avoid obvious combinations like birthdays or anniversaries. Never share your passcode with anyone you don't completely trust and enable face ID or fingerprint authentication for an extra layer of security. And remember, Many hacking methods require physical access to your phone, even if it's just a few seconds. A strong passcode is your first line of defense. Next up, always keep your phone's operating system and apps up to date. And listen, 
I know it's easy to ignore update notifications, but they're more important than many people realize because they often include critical security patches. When vulnerabilities are discovered, manufacturers quickly release updates to fix them. If you're running an outdated version, you're leaving those security gaps open for hackers to exploit. And make sure you enable automatic updates whenever possible so you're always protected. Stick to the official Apple App Store or Google Play Store when downloading apps to your device. Third-party app stores and direct downloads from websites are far more likely to contain malware. And even within official app stores, be cautious. Always check app reviews and ratings, research the developer behind the app, and be wary of apps requesting excessive permissions. And remember, if something seems too good to be true, like a free version of an app you'd normally have to pay for, it's best to steer clear. For extra security against sophisticated threats like Pegasus and Predator, both iPhone and Android offer powerful protection modes that most people don't even know about. Both of these modes provide significantly stronger protection than standard security settings, and they're especially valuable if you handle sensitive information or believe you could be a target for sophisticated attacks. For iPhone, you can use Lockdown Mode. This feature restricts certain functions that sophisticated hackers could exploit to gain access to your device. So to activate it, go to Settings, Privacy and Security, then Lockdown Mode. While it does limit some features, it's an excellent defense against state-level surveillance tools and zero-click exploits. And then for Android users, if you're running Android 16 or later, Google offers the Advanced Protection Program. This adds multiple layers of security to your device and Google account, making it extremely difficult for hackers to gain access. To activate it, go to Settings, Security and Privacy, then Advanced Protection. Now, I'm currently working on a dedicated video about advanced spyware like Pegasus and how to protect yourself from it. So I'll be releasing that pretty soon. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. You definitely do not want to miss it. And finally, make scanning for spyware a regular habit, not just something you do when you suspect a problem. Set a reminder to run a deep scan with Certo Anti-Spy once a week. Think of it like a, a regular health checkup for your phone. This proactive approach means that you'll catch threats early before they can do significant damage to your privacy and security. Listen, phone hacking is a serious threat, but now you have the knowledge and tools to detect it. By working through the checks we've covered today and following the protection steps, you can significantly reduce your risk of becoming a victim. All right. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more smartphone security tips. And let me know down in the comments if you've discovered anything suspicious on your device. Your experience might help others stay protected. Thanks for watching and as always, stay secure.